All right, welcome to the channel again, everyone. So today we here with Ravin. We come to check out his DC2 Honda Integra. So let's check it out. Let's see what's in store. Again, you know the drill. Subscribe. Let's go. So Ravin, we heard Ravin. As you all can see, we in some hot sun, taking yeah. some hot sun to check out the car. Let's get straight to the point. So first and foremost, Ravin, welcome to the channel again. Glad you know, to be here, man. Thank, thanks a lot for the interview. So what we have going on here, we get in straight to the point because as we can all see, the sun is blazing. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a 96 um, Integra Type R, B18C, uh, boosted as you can see. All the bells and whistles um, is a sleeve block, 85 millimeter. Um, the car is on um, 10 and a half compression. GSC T1 cams, uh, precision 6266. Uh, the car is tuned on both uh, pump gas and on ethanol. The car makes 420 on pump on 15 psi and 600 on 26 psi. Um, a hybrid uh, gearbox four forward with a quick LSD, a couple of speed factory shifted parts, and that's about it. Um, what about the um, extractor manifold? Anything in particular? Um, the extractor is a speed factory top mount T4, and through the hood, we have a, a cheapy um, three to four inch um, top mount exit. Right. Yeah. Uh, engine mounts, any in particular? I see um, these mounts looking brutal. Yeah, well, for Honda, you know, you could get all kind of craziness. This is a bullet um, engine mount. We have a couple more to install, actually. Uh, cam gears. Uh, AM cam gears um, to support the GSC cams. Everybody on zero right now. We have a couple a couple little tuning still to do with the car. We still actually have a, a factory um, B18C intake manifold. We have a skunk to ultra to put in and we did pretty good with the um the stock manifold just for testing purposes. 
Uh, what size? Well, I know you're on E85, so mm-hmm. just yeah. curious, what size injectors are these? Those are 2200 Bosch injectors. Um, they are supported by two 350 IL uh, dual choke pumps. Uh, the car, this here is the, um, the fuel cell. The car is on a 5.1 liter fuel cell. So we have, if you, could, if you look at the, the, the setup here, we don't have anything that um, that is supposed to be anywhere else. Everything is in front of the car for traction purposes. Alright, perfect. This car looks really well put together. And um, who put together this vehicle for you, like, engine wise, all the engine work? Um, the engine was built by um, Anil Ramdin, the Evo King. Uh, the box was built by Cleric from Trin City. So all the, um, all the other parts was assembled by me and a couple friends. The engine management is uh, Elite 1500 with all the bells and whistles, uh, IT7 dash, and all the sensors to, um, to support the car. And the tuning, who uh, did the tuning on the car? The wiring, first of all, was done by Jared Best. He did an amazing job with the wiring, and the tuning was finished off by Ryan. And we have the car to um, so what it is right now. Right, wonderful. Again, as you all can see, this, this thing is well put together. We're very excited to see what this... There are a lot of potential, but I'm sure you all are just as excited as I am to see what it, what it can do in the future. Coming to the front here. Wheels. Right, this is our street setup. Uh, the car is on 8.5 inch XR wheels running on um, a set of Mickey Thompson ET streets. Um, factory brakes. Um, DC2 front brakes. We never had a problem to stop the car before. Okay. Um, and well, it's built for a quarter mile, so yeah, I don't yeah. think you'll be no, circuiting the car no, or drive no. anything too crazy on the no, streets, right? Nothing on the streets at all, yeah. <laughs> right. Alright, and um. It's a bare interior, if you come and take a look. That's for the fans. I, I had installed this um, passenger seat just for Ren. <laughs> but I have a. Um, just to have a little idea of what we going on here. All right, all right. Well, thank God we're on pump gas. Yeah. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> right. Other than that, the driver's seat is a cookie, um, cookie seat. As Ren had said before, this car is a purpose-built car. It's, it's for only quarter mile. See, so you have the cage and everything in the car. So yeah, everything is well set up. Flip it up, click, and then the um, yeah, then it's about two more now, right? Ignition on. Ignition. And look at one Well, as you all can see, Hal, take in your body. <laughs>
<laughs> Done. What is this? My goodness.